final video in this little series, we're going to focus on the legs, the back and the front limbs, and we're going to put together the whole dragon ready to move on to rendering it in another program. Okay, so we've done the wings, the spine and the body, the hips and the front end. And we're now gonna go on to, uh, we've done the heads and we're just gonna do the arms and the legs. So we're on a locked layer. So let's have a look what the layer situation is. So we've got three locked layers. Um, we'll make that wing invisible again. So we'll make it transparent. Um, a spine we're gonna need for, for now. We just need a new layer. Which we're on what we're going to call this layer. So this would be the limbs. Okay. And we'll probably just do new materials again so we can keep them all separate from the others. So what tool are we going to start this with? So I think it might be... Uh, so we need a... So first of all, we need a forearm. In fact, no, we'll do the back leg first. So we're going to be um, doing a bone here. Bone, two bones here. So we'll do the bones first and then we'll build that up with a bit of volume. Um, in fact, we're putting pistons on here, I think. So um, it's going to be less less bone and more like mechanical structure. So we'll go planar again. Uh, sorry, volume again. Planar. Um, snap it so we're roughly in the right location. And we'll go quite large on the size this time. And we'll just do the femur bone. It's going to be large. I'm putting a hole in it all the way up. Looks a bit odd at the top, but I quite like it actually. Um, so it'd be lightweight and it's going to have a piston at the back. So. Again, what have we done that we always do on all these videos? Start it off. I only just notice when I start without mirror. So let's put that mirror back on. I think every single video I've done the same thing. So we'll start here. I'm a big fan of doing things twice, as you've noticed. Seems to make me do it different each time, which is a good thing. So we're going to have a big rotator hip joint here. So that will be the first part there. And I'm going to have two of those. So that will be fine. Uh, in fact, that's a good enough uh, item. There's two of them, so I've got to be careful to repeat and use that for the forearm as well. I'm gonna make it visually interesting by re rotating it. There we go, I quite like that. I'm gonna put that down there because I might use that again in a minute. So now I'm gonna do the next one. Which is the equivalent of the tibia and fibula. How does that fit with the sketch? Just make sure. I'm going to have to move it slightly out from the sketch because that's not working in terms of location. But that's fine. And can that work as a forearm as the base? Yeah, it can. So that's good. As long as it's not looking too repetitive. That's fine. Again, we'll, uh, we'll save that for now. Let's just do a basic foot design. And we'll do another one. Like so. And we'll join those together with group. What I'll do is I'll put one of these in as a as an addition. That's great. Out of the way. Let's have a look at it from all angles. Just make sure it's going to read well. Yep, okay with that. OK, 
again cheat a little bit we'll use it twice that's fine see it's looking like along the lines of what we had now we're going to do some toes so we'll go back to uh, we'll make a basic toe first of all I'm not going to do individual parts of the toe so I've got a bit of a toe What we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to different color back to the claw. I'm not going to use the same tools I used before. I'm just going to make a claw like that. So And then we'll get all of that together. And once it's together, join it. And that will probably do us for our foot, which it does. I'm going to add some visual interest at the at the back here actually we can use this as a repeat this is the calcaneus so that's like the um, equivalent of uh, our heel and quite big hands I think we'll leave them there that's fine so let's put some of the uh, joints we had and we did have a on the wings we had a little circular joint, so we'll just remake one of those. Um, again, I'm just using different materials simply because I want to keep it separate. So the more materials that I use, the more I can separate this model down. Um, again, we'll just... Oh, it's going to do it freehand and I didn't adjust the tool, did I? So if I just go revolve and then I can just do it like that. We'll make this one slightly different, so a bit more up in the center. There we go, that will do. And now we're going to hugely use this everywhere now. So this is going to be, in fact, no, we're not. What we're going to do, we will do, we will do that, but I want a couple more, so I need a tube. Just redo that. I'm going to start with the tube here. This is going to be like a spindle that we'll use for all of these joints. Almost like the knuckles, if you know what I mean. There we go, that'll do. And then we'll make it into, we'll put him over there and we'll keep one copy over there. But then we'll do this. And we'll put this one on here. And this one on here. Take that and group it. And that'll be used right the way around all of these different joints. So a couple there. Let's go in tight. Definitely one here. Definitely one here. Definitely one here. And a big one. It's going to go right the way through. Here. So that one works well. Let's we'll do the same on the back. It's very much a concept piece, as you can see, so I'm not massively worried if all of the, the mechanisms don't work. 
as they would do on a on a 3D model that I was doing for um if I, if I was modeling it accurately to be to be modeled if you see what I mean um to be used uh this is really just got to look cool there we go and just put some on the inside Wherever I think it needs a bit of visual interest, I'm just adding one. And what I did notice then was it would have looked great from one angle. We're trying to make it look good when we render it from any angle. That's great. So get rid of that. What we'll do now is we'll make some pistons. So I need two parts for a piston. Um, I have a piston at the back here and one on the hand. So I'm gonna go fully white with the first one. Didn't set the orientation, so it looked a little bit off then. Don't worry about that. So there's one. I'm just going to repeat it. For a do, I'll just change it to a dark metal. Click the buttons and I'm just going to extend it. This one, use it at both ends. There we go, that'll do us for most of this. Little piston for the back of the legs. that embedded here of a little one coming down here one under here whoops missed it one under here So a great big one up at the back and I think I'll have a couple that go up like this up into the back of the pelvis like so one running around the back here that needs to go up like that and then just one more here awesome I don't think I need any more of that Might be worth just thinking about, even though it isn't part of this layer, a couple of pistons that are driving the shoulder blades. Um, and it would be really nice to think about the dynamics. So to get this thing up into the air, it would need to be driving these muscles right down. So I'll put something there. Um, I'll fill that in with something else when I've, um, when I've got to that stage. And there we go. So what I will probably do now is just add a little bit of piping, which I always quite like doing at the last job. Um, we'll make a new layer for that. Call it pipes. So pipes. And nice dark color. Tool, we're going to use a stroke, let's just double check it's fine, yep, uh, small stroke, and the one thing that we haven't been doing all the way along, let's get settings on and put the oh, mirrors on anyway, isn't it, so, are we on the right layer, 
looks like it. We'll lock those limbs and now we'll go for it. Um, we'll just put some pipes inside here. Too big. So it's just going to give me some. I always like to do this because I always think it just links, makes it look like there's a lot more mechanical complexity than there ever really is. That's actually, it's, gives, it gives us its tongue as well. Now, I've left it there so it's separate and I'll just sum into the body so we can always separate these at a later stage. There we go. Now, one running right the way through the tail. back into the body and then we'll always do ones going into the limbs I always try and hide any bad modeling that I've done with pipes so if I've left joints open or um, just not not reading particularly well I can sometimes hide them with a little bit of this kind of work because I do a lot of paint overs on this kind of stuff it's not absolutely crucial and I can, and sometimes I just delete a lot of this stuff once I get it into another program but I do quite like having it So that solves why that isn't attached to anything, because it's all wired in. So that's one way that the pipes will fix some poor modelling, maybe. That's great. Now I'm just going to do one last thing that I've just thought of now. So I'm going to put that layer back on. So let me have a look at the transparency all being on. Just make sure it reads well. That's good. And now we'll take a look at the layers and we'll take that sketch away completely. And there we go. That's the mechanical dragon. He's got all these parts that we need to make him cool. One thing that I might just add, one last little nugget that I might add is some spheres for eyes. So we'll make a new layer. Call it eyes. And then the one tool that we haven't really touched on is just basically spheres. And we'll make it a nice, ridiculous aqua colour. There we go. And we'll just put put one of these in here. There we go. One last little flash of colour there. Excellent. So, let's save this out and then we can have a look at it in oops we can have a look at it in cinema 4d in the next video so mech dragon 4 and because we're going to take it to cinema before we do that we need to go and same button we need to export it as an fbx and make sure it says mesh here. So FBX units, in fact, I'll change those units up to meters because I know there's a problem with scale size. FBX mesh, and we'll save that. And we'll save it as Dragon 05.